What is up, everybody? It's your first for today, and we have to talk about these posts from these Sony fanboys. Apparently, they are saying that people are spoiling the newest God of War Ragnarok game. And he says Xbox fans are the accusers. They have been the ones who are accused of doing this. Now, I haven't seen any God of War Ragnarok spoilers on my timeline, mainly because I mostly just follow Xbox people. But apparently, he's saying he's been seeing a lot of Xbox fans spoiling this game. The game releases in a month, so I don't know how this game leaked already. Apparently, the game leaked already, but I haven't, I haven't seen any leaks about this game. But this is what this one guy said who does, he has a pretty big YouTube channel. He says, a lot of hardcore Xbox fans are running to the internet with screenshots of spoilers from God of War Ragnarok. This is what having no games to play does to an MFR. So once again, Xbox has no game. Narrative just, uh, just magically appears. It's like... It's just like it's either Xbox has no games or Xbox is a monopoly. It's just like they just pick and choose on which day on which dinner they want to use at this point. So just interesting. But then this was this wasn't even the worst one. This is the worst one right here. We have a, a big time Sony fanboy who says, I never saw the PlayStation community go out their way to spoil Halo Infinite last year, but I continue to see Xbox fans go to extreme lengths to spoil God of War Ragnarok. Now, is this guy, was he under a rock when the Halo Infinite came out? Because I even saw Halo Infinite spoilers. <laughs> they was putting spoilers everywhere about Halo Infinite because last year it was like, it was a war zone out there. Each time you want to look at anything about Halo, these guys will post spoilers about it. So, And I think that is cringy on either side to do this, but I mean, it kind of comes with the territory. People in this constant word now is going to post spoilers about the big game that's going to release. Um, luckily for me, it doesn't really bother me too much if I see a spoiler for something. I'm, I'm actually interested in watching or playing. Like, for example, I know everything's going to happen in Attack on Titan, the, the last season of Attack on Titan, so from the manga. So I'm still excited to see that, pretty much. And I played The Last of Us with that game being spoiled as well. The Last of Us Part 2 with that game being spoiled. I still enjoyed myself with the game. So. Um, so I don't know. I guess spoilers don't really bother me that much, but I would kind of not like to know the spoilers. But if it does happen, if the content is still good enough, it's not gonna really bother me that much. But apparently, they put some tweets. They put some receipts. So this guy being a hypocrite because apparently, the Last of Us fans are weaponizing as a Halo Infinite campaign spoilers as retaliation. <laughs> How cringy is that? So apparently, because the Last of Us two got spoiled, they were spoiling the Halo Infinite campaign as a retaliation move. That's so cringy. But yeah. And it wasn't even Xbox guys spoiling Last of Us. It was mainly just Xbox, it was Sony guys who were pissed off because of one of the characters died in the game. That they didn't like who died and they thought it was like super woke. So they was like spoiling stuff for other people. And then you got a tweet from this guy himself from the past says, Starting tomorrow, I will be going out of my way to spoil the story for Death Strand and Horizon Zero Dawn for every PC gamer that plans on buying and playing those games this summer. How salty can a person be? Jeez. So look at this hypocrisy right here. <laughs> He's saying how spoiling is bad. Well, he was spoiling stuff in the past before because somebody else was playing a game on a platform he didn't prefer. Just ridiculous. But let's look on this first tweet now. Uh, the fact that people like unlikely think that this guy is a constant word instead of just dunking, as always, is hilarious. I mean, if it sounds like a fanboy, then it must be a fanboy. Because <laughs> it sounds like a Sony fanboy narrative right here. The Xbox just has no games. And because they have no games, they're out here spoiling games. I mean, it kind of sounds like a Sony fanboy narrative to me, but okay. Uh, it's more than that. They have no game of the year worthy games. Microsoft dishes out a lot of money on them, but the results are a little bit underwhelming. He said as well, Xbox won Publisher of the Year in 2021, and I think in that Jeff Keighley's um, Game Awards, Halo Infinite was the most, was the most won game, whatever the players, they won the Players' Choice Awards. So because if Microsoft has a crappy year for first-party content, don't just erase the previous year. Like, like what are we doing here? Well, because this year hasn't been that great on first-party content. But we know those amazing games are coming out next year. It doesn't just erase what happened in 2021. So, okay. They're just really doing some revisionist history right now. But let's continue. Uh, 
22 has been packed. What are you on about? Looks back. RPG Heaven. Disappointed sequels. And Elder Ring Sword in hand. Waiting to kill more for the thousandth time. Yeah, what are you on about? I don't see how Xbox fans leaking spoilers when the only way they could have the info is from someone from a PlayStation. Yeah, that narrative just doesn't make sense. Xbox fans are leaking a Sony game. Like, <laughs> how would they get access to the Sony game to begin with? I don't know. Um... And I thought you'd be one of the cool guys. Those guys do our console wars, seriously. Uh, pretends PlayStation fanboys wasn't doing the same with Halo spoilers. Come on, Keith, do better. It's just the obtuseness. Dude, when I, they want to act so obtuse like these guys weren't spoiling Halo Infinite. Like, really? <laughs> it's just hilarious. Wow, why are you blaming Xbox fans? Didn't PlayStation players do the same when Halo Infinite came out? Yeah, they definitely did that. The Xbox has no games narrative is weird. It really is weird when you got the same people being upset that people get to play Persona 5 Royal now on Xbox. Like you got people throwing full grown tantrums that people get to play a Persona 5 game on Xbox, but Xbox has no games apparently. Okay. And he says, I've got like 300 plus games on my Xbox I can't play right this second. I've got about the same on my PS5 too. Both have games like what the f? Um, a lot of literally seen nothing. I ain't even trying to avoid spoilers since I don't play the series. Someone talked about the stuff that was already shown in the trailers, and y'all want to pretend this is spoilers? Yeah, I don't even like games, just the drama. I okay. Like, what PlayStation fans did when they had no games to play, both are pathetic. Yeah, it's definitely Xbox fans with zero proof that it's Xbox fans doing this, but okay. I can understand they at least had like a screenshot of some high-profile Xbox gamer doing this nonsense, but there's been no proof of any of this nonsense, so who knows. Just how they were blaming the Last of Us leaks on Xbox fans as well. When it's like, really, it was seriously mostly Sony guys doing that who were pissed, who liked the previous game, who didn't like how the, the second game turned out. But, you know, they blame Xbox guys for that too. Xbox has no games is an expired joke, and it's getting so tiresome at this point. Like, really? <laughs> like, once again, like I said earlier, you can't say Xbox has no games and then complain about them being Monopoly as well. It just makes zero sense. Um... This is 2022. We play more than PlayStation players thanks to Game Pass. That is kind of true. Um, Ponies did the same thing when God of War and Spider-Man came to PC. I barely had a chance to install God of War on my PC before the game got spoiled. And we got proof of that from this guy right here that said he was going to do the exact same thing. Spoil the game. These places are exclusive for PC players. So we know that was happening. At least we got proof of that actually happening. <laughs> Uh, is it just Xbox fans or are they convenient scapegoats? Like, are muscle lovers the only ones that can say ketchup is the worst condiment? <laughs> uh, I didn't peg you as a fanboy. Always enjoy your comedic, comedic takes on YouTube, but I am glad you show your true colors. Uh, I have never seen a post of God of Ragnarok about spoilers. Stop creating non existent enemies. We have more important things to do, like plan instead of focusing on PlayStation weird fandoms. Yeah. Who else has literally not seen absolutely nothing about God of Snore other than the ponies in a vacuum trying to hype up a game most people call DLC? And I laugh at us ridiculous characters. I think that's what these ponies are really hurt about. Hit the like button. <laughs> okay. Uh. I'm disappointed in your tweet. That's what years of unhealthy fanboyism do not have nothing to play, especially when the two consoles are just PCs in disguise. Technically, PlayStation has no games as well. All they have are interactive movies. What does people say about this one? I'm kind of curious what people said about this guy's post right here. Oh, yeah, it's the same guy who... <laughs> 
<laughs> That's the same guy who was sending the women on internet D pics. Like, they would just say hello and he would just, like, whip it out. So, yeah, that's the same guy. I forgot about that, but yeah, that was the thing that happened. Didn't the PlayStation families do the same with Halo Infinite campaign? Yeah, they did. You know, back to, going back to that whole like the picture thing, that seems to be a trend. Cause then they threatened the guy, one of the guy were developers with with the D picks as well to get them to reveal the release date or something like that. That just seems to be a trend with these guys apparently. <laughs> I was like, okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> wow, Craig, forgotten, huh? People really don't think receipts exist these days. He's really believing his own lies, huh? <laughs> Not really true. I can attest for his hand that I had the Halo Infinite campaign story spoiled for me because the game had released on Twitter by Console Wars. Yeah, I definitely got the game spoiled for me too, but it's like the game was so good, I didn't really care, so. But yeah, I definitely had Halo, Halo Infinite spoiled and Last of Us Part 2 spoiled. So I think people are just going to do this for like these big high profile first party games at this point. Like, it's just, it's just how it is going to be at this point on the internet. Um, how can we spoil something we haven't even played yet? This guy just can't help it. So apparently, what does this say? This is another tweet from this guy. Apparently he was asked, why do you keep blocking people on Twitter? Because people respond to my facts with lies, and I don't want to waste any time arguing with someone that is 100% wrong. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to argue my point, so I block people instead. <laughs> and this is the guy who started harassing women in their inboxes with unwanted, unwanted pics and messages. Yep, that is that same guy. How many times do we gotta tell them we have the receipts? Yeah, that is very that was kinda of hilarious. Like as soon as you say something, they got the proof to say, hey, weren't you the one who did this back in the past? Like you were posting spoilers, but you wanna talk about posting spoilers as wrong now? Like an irony. But which once again I don't agree with. Like people shouldn't post spoilers for these games just because it's on the opposite console that you don't own. That's kinda of whack in my opinion, but it's just, it's just the message shouldn't be coming from this guy right here. And he has, obviously has a history of spoiling games. So the message probably shouldn't be coming from this guy. But I do agree, you shouldn't be spoiling games like that. People who are anticipating playing this game. Uh, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna conclude it right here. We get the gist of it. Apparently, Xbox guys are being blamed for this nonsense of this game being spoiled, which I haven't even seen any leaks for this game, which I don't know. But it's just ridiculous. And you got this one guy saying, you know, Xbox has no games. That's why they're doing it. But I had literally seen no spoilers for this game. So, you know, I'm going to conclude it right here. Definitely see your thoughts down below on these two different posts. Leave a like, like this video. And as always, thanks for watching and peace.